Hey guys, sorry about the whole weird light thing. I forgot to film before this happened because I was asleep. And then I had to go to Walmart and buy some shit, so sorry about it. But anyway, I'm here to do the A to Z book survey. So without any further ado, let's get started because this is going to be a long ass video. A is author you've read the most books from, and that would be Rick Riordan, because I've read all of the Percy Jackson books, all of the Heroes of Olympus books, all of the Magnus Chase books, and all of the Trials of Apollo books. So, it's a lot of books. B is best sequel ever, and I went with Crooked Kingdom. I'm holding up both copies, because, like, why not? C is currently reading, and I am currently reading The Silence of the Girls by Pat Barker. It's an Iliad retelling from Perseus' perspective. Stay tuned for a reading vlog. D is drink of choice while reading, and I chose water. Gotta stay hydrated, y'all. E is e-reader or physical book, and I chose physical book, obviously. F is fictional character you probably would have dated in high school, and I chose Percy Jackson because I had a thing for skater boys for some reason in high school. I'm holding up the lightning thief, but, you know, in actuality, he would have been, like, Heroes of Olympus age, so... Should have been holding up Heroes of Olympus, I suppose, but what are you gonna do? G is glad you gave this book a chance, and I'm going with Percy Jackson and the Olympians, because I read the first book in seventh grade, and then I didn't read it, because my library didn't have the second book. And then in 2016, my junior year of college, um, I was going to read this Mary Renault series that I haven't read yet, and somebody was like, hey, you should read the Percy Jackson books. And I was like, but those are like middle grade books, right? And they were like, yeah, but they're really good. So I was like, okay. So I read them and I fell in love with them. And the rest is history. H is Hidden Gem Book. And I went with The Dangerous Art of Blending In by Angelo Sermelius or Sermelis or however you pronounce his last name. I is Important Moment in Your Reading Life. And I went with Reading the Song of Achilles, because it's what got me back into reading, and it got me into Greek mythology, so I wouldn't be reading the Iliad or this Iliad retelling without it, and so, yeah, it inspired me to read more, and I think it's an important moment in my reading life. So, J is just finished, and I just finished Half Lost. K is Kinds of Books You Won't Read, and I definitely will not read Erotica, because fan fiction is one thing. I will read some smutty fanfiction if it's in the right context, but like regular erotica, like that isn't about fictional characters that I already care about, that is just like erotica, like I, I see no appeal in that whatsoever, whatsoever. L is the longest book you've read, and that would be Les Miserables. It's quite big, as you can see. And the text is super, super small, so if this was, like, regular book size, it would be much longer. M is major book hangover because of, and I went with The Raven Cycle. I went with The Raven Cycle because it took me a hot second to stop obsessing over The Raven Cycle and pick up another book. But eventually I got there. N is number of bookcases you own, and I own two, but I am sitting in front of one, so I will move so you can see it. Ta-da! As the lighting grows progressively shittier and my face gets more and more white, we move on to the letter O, which is one book you have read multiple times, and that is The Lightning Thief, because as of right now, I haven't actually read any other books multiple times, but I read this book in seventh grade once, and then I read it again in 2016 when I actually finished the Percy Jackson and the Olympian series. P is the preferred place to read, and I went with the green room in my theater because that's actually where I've done most of my reading so far. And when I'm in my bed, my bed is great and all, but like, I fall asleep. So I can't fall asleep in the green room, so it's like the perfect place to read. Even though it's really distracting and it gets like crazy in there, like it's it's just, it's a good place to read because it has, like, enough distraction to where you won't fall asleep, but, like, you can still read. It's, it's real good. Q is quote that inspires you slash gives you all the feels from a book you've read, and I went with one that inspires me and one that gives me all the feels. So my inspiring quote is fight because you don't know how to die quietly from the King's Men, 
And the feels quote that I went with is perhaps it is the greater grief after all to be left on earth when another is gone. From the Song of Achilles. R is for reading regret, not me. Uh, and that would have to be not continuing uh, Percy Jackson and the Olympians in middle school um, because I should have just looked harder for the second book, but I didn't. Um, and I feel like if I would have continued it, I would have had an easier time reading more if I'd had books to look forward to coming out, but I didn't do that. So here we are now. S is series you started and need to finish. All the books are out in the series. I went with the Alexander the Great books by Mary Renault because I read like the first three pages of the first book before I was like, hey, I'm going to read the Percy Jackson and the Olympian series because my friend told me to. T is three of your all-time favorite books, and since it asked for three, I'm going to go with The Holy Trinity. The Father, aka The Raven Cycle. The Son, or Six of Crows. And The Holy Spirit, or All for the Game. You was unapologetic fangirl for, and even though I don't really like the phrase fangirl when applied to me because it implies that I am a girl when I am not a girl, and even though I know it's gender neutral now, like I still, still don't like it, but... To answer the question, I think it's pretty obvious that I love me some Patrick Achilles. I mean, I'm reading an Iliad retelling, so, like, I'm an unapologetic fangirl for Patrick Achilles slash the Iliad. Um, we have, we have some art up there. I've actually written the Patrick Achilles 10-minute play where, uh, Achilles and Patroclus have a game show called So You Think You Know Achilles. The title of the play is So You Think You Know Achilles, and uh, it's about, it's it's having people, like, from, like, modern day answer questions about Achilles' life to, like, prove that he had eternal fame and glory. But things don't go as planned, so it's, it's pretty cool. If you want to read it, let me know, and I'll send you the script. V is very excited for this release more than all the others, and I went with In an Absent Dream which is the fourth book in the Wayward Children series because I absolutely love the Wayward Children series and I can't wait to see what happens next. W is Worst Bookish Habit and mine is picking up a book with the full intention of reading it but getting distracted by something else and then not reading it. X is X marks the spot. Start at the top left of your shelf and pick the 27th book. 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24... 25, 26, 27. It's Cersei, y'all. It's Cersei. Why is your latest book purchase? And my latest book purchase is uh, Little and Lion, and they both die at the end because I got a Barnes and Noble gift card, and these are the two books I decided to go with. Z is the Snatcher book, the last book that kept you up way late, and I went with Aristotle and Dante Discovered the Secrets of the Universe because this book kept me up unintentionally I read like 90 pages when I only intended to meet read like 20 so I mean it wasn't super super late but it was late for me so that's why I went with this book anyway that is the whole video I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one